Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 2nd, 2020. So we have an interesting day today. First off, we had um, a real choppy day yesterday with the markets kind of well, we were waiting on a stimulus deal or hoping for a stimulus deal. That hope seems to have faded and futures dipped overnight um, as they were unable to come to an agreement. And the House went ahead and passed a $2.2 trillion deal that really has no chance of being uh, passed in the Senate. So we're sliding into this weekend with no stimulus deal and a Congress that's set to adjourn so that they can head out and campaign um, for their re-elections. So probably no, no deal um, going on here, and that affected the market lower. And then early this morning, the president began to tweet that he and the First Lady have contracted um, COVID-19, and the market... Um, has really reacted negatively to that news this morning. So having said all of that, what does that mean for today? Well, it's Friday, which is always a good thing, but we're probably looking at a pretty darn turbulent morning open. So let's buckle up, settle in, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we are looking at a pretty bearish open. As of this moment, Dow futures are down 400 points. And you can see here in the chart, this is today's candle. This is the pre-market candle being formed. We're gapping substantially lower and we're gapping back down into that area of a little tiny bit of price support. We still have some gap to fill to close that gap of the big move that came in um, right here. So watch that close. Um, we could easily slip down into that gap pretty easily um, if those bears really decide to push on the gas here. Um, we'll have to watch that closely. Now, unfortunately, what this means is that we will on the Dow fail back below the 50 day moving average at the open. What's going to be critical here this morning is how tenacious those bulls are. If the bulls are going to be strong enough to push us back up by the close of today, back above the 50 day moving average. If they can do that, we may still hold on uh, to this area. But with no stimulus deal and um, so much uncertainty now ahead, if those bears continue to attack and push us lower, um, that will constitute a failure of the 50-day moving average, which is a, um, well, a technical break and could easily um, damage the um, market sentiment. Um, so watch that carefully today. Pretty ugly uh, potential morning. Um, and we still yet have to deal with the employment situation number that could improve this situation right now or hurt this situation when it comes out. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the SPY SPY. Also, going to show us a likely failure of the 50-day moving average um, in the SPY. So that's going to be kind of a critical point and really helps to create this resistance level up here or strengthens that potential resistance level in the chart. Um, although we haven't shown the signs that we're ready to push all the way back down and fill this gap, totally. We'll want to keep a close eye on that today. A um, lot of uncertainty as we head into the weekend. So be pretty careful here. It could be a little bit of a, well, it's likely to be a very volatile morning. We could see prices really whipping all over the place, making for a very dangerous environment for most traders. So just be careful here. And unfortunately, this gap down open probably punishes quite a few folks that were really holding on to hopes that we were going to get some kind of deal. Um, and 
on stimulus and of course that is still somewhat possible but with congress adjourning heading out to campaign um it seems like that hope is kind of wearing into a thin thread so watch that close um qqq qqq uh, pulling back but at uh, this time at least qqq will still hold on to that 50-day moving average at the open the question is going to be will those bulls be able to defend this area will there be enough energy here to defend to defend with the uncertainty that we have in the market particularly if the diamonds and the spy um, see more selling and push down into uh, filling that gap that could really put some pressure here on the nasdaq as well so watch that carefully now if the bulls can defend this area that would be bullish for the nasdaq if they can defend and hold this area in here then that opportunity that we could lift up off that 50 does exist but a failure of that 50 could be a critical damaging point in the technicals of the chart so watch that close and then if we take a look at iwm now iwm um, hasn't performed all that well anyway we did rally back significantly but obviously we were still just back up here testing price resistance testing the 50-day moving average and now uh, moving lower here in that chart we're also seeing some significant damage in the oil sector here this morning after the president's um, talk of uh, COVID-19, he and the First Lady being um, uh, tested positive on that. So um, oil sector is pushing down pretty hard this morning. We'll want to watch that closely as well. Could be some damaging moves there. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now, this doggone VIX, I got to tell you, um, pretty darn frustrating um, in here where it doesn't move with the market very well. We might see this spike a little bit today, though, with that uncertainty of uh, what happens next now. Um, we might see a little bit of fear creep up in here, but we've held that 50 day moving average yesterday seeing that climb up even though we closed with some positive numbers yesterday right at the end of the day we closed with some positive numbers the vix was showing a little bit of fear now this morning a big gap down we could see that moving back up here to test this 200 day moving average once again and so far we've been able to hold we test and test and test and test that 50 day and we've tested and tested and tested and tested and tested that 200 day so it looks like today could be another test of that 200 day we'll want to watch that uh, pretty closely fear could drift in the market today particularly if we get some follow-through selling and I suspect there will be a little bit because a lot of folks will be damaged this morning on this big gap down and they will be forced to close out to protect themselves um, in the market so we could see a little bit more downside move as they close out trades let's take a look at um, T21 22 whoops there we go t2122 it's the four week new high new low ratio and i just plot that with a line chart and as you can see in here yesterday even though we did get some uh, movement um, in the market obviously we we shot up big during the day and i kept warning be careful of that and then by the end of the day we pulled right back down here to middle of the road again so it's like we're trying to straddle the fence the market doesn't know what to do we're trying to trying to straddle that fence at the end of the day are we going to get a deal are we not going to get a deal you know uh, i mentioned yesterday in the right way options room that we just needed um, Howie Mandel to come out with a big suitcase and say deal or no deal and find out whether or not it was full of money or not um, unfortunately we we know that that's probably not going to occur now and um, with this big gap down this morning we could easily be right down here so these big swings uh, taking us to extremes um, we could be right back down here in that bullish reversal zone which means 
as we push down in there, um, we get a bit oversold and we could have that opportunity of a bounce back up. So watch that close this morning. Um, could be an interesting day uh, to be sure. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we do have some things in the economic calendar that we want to pay attention to. Um, this morning, we are going to hear on the employment situation number. Consensus has that coming in at just a marginal improvement with unemployment. Um, they're suggesting unemployment staying around 8.2%. Um, unfortunately, the recovery is just not re um, as strong as I think a lot of people would want it to be, and certainly not as strong as the current prices of the market suggest it should be. So if we do get that little bit of bearishness if that number misses or um, something watch out below it could get really ugly however if that number comes in strong that could help those bulls push up and defend those support areas in the chart so let's watch for that um, that's going to be at 8 30 a.m so nothing we can do about it it's going to happen before the market opens so expect a lot of volatility at the open today we also have fed speakers here today that we'll want to pay attention to and we have consumer conf or sentiment coming out at 10 a.m along with factory orders those could have a potential to move us around on the earnings calendar today we actually have um, about nine companies on the earnings calendar today but all of them are unconfirmed reports and they are all um relatively small now actually ccl is on the list for a possible report but it is an unconfirmed report and i'm guessing that is not going to occur today um carnival cruise if you heard um the cdc C uh, banned cruising until the end of October. Uh, Carnival Cruise made the decision to cancel all cruises through the end of the year. So we've got a pretty ugly situation here in that cruise um, environment. And if you notice here, this is a head and shoulders pattern. Um, could be ugly for Carnival Cruise anyway. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But I got to tell you guys, um, in any of the stocks that are setting up, uh, anything is possible today. So we're going to have to be careful with that. But before we do that, if you guys could help me out and do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button if this is the first time you've seen these videos. And also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos as well. Also keep in mind there's lots of training videos um, out on the on YouTube um, that I have done and I'd really want to draw your particular attention to a, um, a couple of videos on the 3-8 trap. Um, I will be teaching a class here at the end of October and I will place a link in the description if you want to sign up for that class. It is a full three hour um, class on the 3-8 trap strategy, a very high expectancy strategy. I've taught this to hundreds and hundreds of folks that are seeing great results in their trading. And if you have an interest in that, guys, check below. There will be a link where you can sign up for that class coming up at the end of October. So watch for that. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks. Remember that when I point out these stocks that they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, so keep that in mind. Let's take a look. Um, some of the bullish stocks that I've been watching, CRWD, if you take a look at this, we popped up through my alert. And yesterday we got a little pullback, but we're still setting in this nice upside trend. So if the market can see a little bit of bullishness, by the way, this is today's candle. This is today's candle, the pre-market candle that um, we're looking at. So we're getting a little pullback this morning, but let's watch that closely. If we can still hold in that trend, there still is that opportunity for that upside move there in that chart. Take a look at NWL. Um, NWL is a doggone bearish uh, looking chart and as you can see could be a potential short that you might want to pay attention to. If you look right in there you can see that we have a lower high 
um, showing up in the chart and that lower high would suggest more downside possibility here um, in that move so watch that close if that were to fail on lower could be a nice short right down into this price support keep that in mind take a look at crocs crocs has been holding up yesterday had a nice big pop big long tail or, or wick on that candle yesterday pulling back at the end of the day with the bearishness kind of um, creeping back in and you can see this morning we're pulling back but let's watch that in here if that can continue to hold there's still that opportunity we could grab that support and push on higher so keep an eye on crocs on the other side of the coin uh, if we take a look at wind casinos Win is kind of perched right on the edge of a cliff. And as you can see this morning in the pre-market, they're pushing down, pushing to that edge of the cliff. Notice this big level of price support in here, um, working this downtrend. And you can see if we catch a failure here, it wouldn't take a whole lot to shove this off the cliff. And um, a potential short exists in that chart. Keep a close eye on that, um, could be damaging. Uh, for the market um, or for win. Let's take a look at some bullish charts. Um, Target Target had a nice little move up and now pulling back. So we have a bit of a bearish pattern that could be forming here on this top. Notice this is the pre-market candle here. It's not yesterday's candle. This is yesterday's candle right here. So we have that little bit of a topping type pattern starting to show in here but that's due to a lot of the market volatility so if we can hold this overall upside trend maybe consolidate this move out here there's still that opportunity this is something we call a j-hook pattern if that pulls back and holds into that trend a nice little upside move could exist we'll want to keep an eye on that also keep an eye on Walmart Walmart has had a nice move up you can see responding here in this area to the trend moving up a little bit of pullback I would expect retail uh, could get a lot of online business and those businesses that can do considerable online sales um, just look like a good positive um, trend for me with COVID numbers still perking up here in the United States. So watch that close. Walmart could set up. GPS, GPS was another one yesterday that saw a little bit of surge getting a pullback this morning we still have this resistance to deal with so i would say this is not in the buy zone yet um, this needs to deal with that resistance maybe pop out and hold but keep an eye on some of these retailers they've been holding up pretty well overall um, let's take a look at fedex I've been mentioning FedEx and UPS just about every day. FedEx and UPS continuing to consolidate here in a tight range. Once again, I think shippers are going to do very, very well overall um, in this environment. Um, so watch that close. FedEx, UPS, uh, both in that same area of a consolidating range, moving over toward, the, toward their trend, possible opportunities in that trade. Um, I'm going to mention Costco. Um, Costco had a nice move. I ended up closing my trade on Costco yesterday locking in a nice gain yesterday morning and i'm kind of glad i did with the pullback uh, that it, we're looking at um, today so keep a close eye on this this resting pullback in here if we hold above this support level this opens up more opportunity for an upside move so keep a close eye on that a um, couple others here if you are looking for a short trade coke is setting up for a short um, this had a lower high in here failed breaking through um, support rallied back up testing that support as resistance and now starting to show rollover in that chart this is a pattern that we will sometimes call a bearish h and that pattern if we continue to break on down would suggest new lows coming in coca-cola and some trouble ahead here for that stock so watch that carefully so a few stocks for you to deal with some on the bullish side some on the bearish side kind of keep a close eye as we approach that um, employment situation number anything is possible we could see those bulls defend we could see those bears really push back we'll want to be 
closely watching, I think, we want to be closely watching this potential gap fill. If we were to drop through into here, watch that potential gap fill if we can catch some support there. That would be a pretty punishing day, um, but certainly possible. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be safe, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great day, everyone.